Welcome back to FBTV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at Luxury Paint Stadium for take two of the Vito Premier League Grand Final. Well, if you can look around me, you can see that the field is in absolutely pristine condition. And we'll be shooting the game tonight atop the Force Access boom lift, which has been kindly donated by Force Access and has got a smile from ear to ear on Paulie's face. Now, we'll recap a little bit on what happened and why we're here tonight. Obviously, for those in the know, the lights went out at half time at Perry Park on Sunday afternoon with Wolves FC leading 1-0 after a fantastic goal from Kato Aochi, who won't be featuring tonight as he's trialling in Indonesia. But uh, the inside word is it wasn't a technical fault. In fact, it was Kenny Armstrong, the assistant coach from Rochdale Rovers, who in the halftime interview let, let slip that he had actually turned the lights off because they were down by one goal to nil. The boys at the back have been struggling to cope with our, their front two, so uh, yeah, we will have to change a couple of things. Um, I've already taken the first step, I've pulled the plug out in the lights, so um, see if that'll help. And as the players make their way out onto the field, let's have a look at the team lineups. As I alluded to earlier, Wolves will be without talisman Kato Aochi as he's got a trial in Indonesia and we wish him all the luck but we'd like to see him here tonight because I think his pace has been something that has set the league on fire and again would have been something to watch in tonight's Vito Premier League Grand Final. And returning for Rochdale tonight, inspirational skipper Terry Hughes and Ruben Way after they've served their suspensions from the Canale Cup Final which will bolster their squad and make for a far more entertaining game of football. The officials for tonight's match are referee Nathan McDonald and his assistant referees Brad Hobson and Ashley Beecham. We're moments away from kickoff. There we are. We're underway in the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final. Smith puts it back. Thompson forward. Hopkins has missed it. Lovell in behind, shoots, and oh, a touch from Pike, and the ball goes out for a corner. Driven into the box, a header there from Smith, doesn't get enough purchase on it. Ball away, looking for room, Sato with the header. Hughes back to his keeper, early, for an early touch for Mario Aparicio. Lays it to this near side for Cody Lovell. Clulo in the challenge, Hughes and Reardon penalised. Hughes switches the play. Way lays it back. McCooler across. Only as far as Dumpies. Way. Astarthus nicked on in. Good touch. Dumpies on the edge of the box. Flies it through looking for Smith and cleared by Hopkins. No, it goes short. Burn drives it across. An important touch. Hughes for Smith. Smith shoots and Pike doesn't hold. Lovell! Lovell gives Wolves the lead in the first couple of minutes. Richdale Rovers won. Wolves FC nil in the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final. Wolves will want to get back into their stride and pull this goal back as quick as they can. Long throw. Unsworth uses his strength. Hopkins forward. Clulo. Hughes nicks in. Unsworth too strong. And a free kick to, to Wolves here on the near side. I would suggest. And there goes Hopkins. He'll be at the far post. They know he's there, but can they do anything about his presence? No side has been able to so far this season. Radulovic with the ball in, looking for Hopkins. Hopkins gets his head on it. Aparicio dives on the scraps. A good crowd here at Luxury Paint Stadium uh, for a Thursday night. There was always the fear that uh, people wouldn't make their way out here, but they've all turned up en masse. Both sides supported well by their supporters and the neutrals alike. Pike with the goal kick. Goes long. 
flicked on. Sato with the ball away. Good header by Hopkins. Great ball forward by Beck. Clulo in behind, gets to the byline, cuts it back, and Aparicio gets a hand on it. Byrne has a long throw in his arsenal. Could be the time to use it, and does. Diffused by the Wolves' defence. Romano away. Vroom looking for his support. Dumpies inside for Way. For Smiths. Smiths out for Lovell. A little bit of space. Great ball into the box. The header! And that's the second for Rochdale Rovers here in the Vito Premier League Grand Final. And the flag's gone up. So maybe Matt Burns goal won't stand. Referee McDonald gone across to the far side. Let's have a look. Ball swung in. There's Burn. Perfect run. Again. Up. Doesn't touch anyone. Perfect header. And it's a goal. 2-0 to Rochdale Rovers in the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final. In the 13th minute. What will Coach Safe do to change up? this 2-0 deficit early in the first half. Reared and battling Hughes, toes it through Hopkins, but only as far as Dumpies. Dumpies out for the goal scorer, Burn For Way, intercepted by Romano. Break quick, they break quickly the Wolves. This has been part of a great ball for Vroom. He'll use his pace, gets to the ball, cuts in. Looking for options. Well defended Sardo. And he shot straight into the hands of goalkeeper Mario Aparicio. Tried to do the trick in. It didn't come off. Estathis puts it forward. Dangerous looking ball in the end. Jeski. Away by Hopkins. Beck this time gets ahead on the ball. Vroom. Radulovic. Clipping it forward. Thompson with an important defensive header. If Starthus again wins it in the air. Dumpies make sure it's clear of the lines. Hopkins wins the header. Unsworth and Hopkins. Lovell for Unsworth. Turns tight. Great return ball for Cody Lovell. He'll look to cut across his defender. Oh, McMahon's got nowhere near that. That could be the first yellow and is of the match to Patrick McMahon. This will be a training ground move, you would suggest, from Rochdale Rovers. All their players grouping around the outside of the box. Sato, both central defenders up in the box at the moment. Sato and a young Astarthus. Dumpies is there if they want to go short. I think that Hughes will drive this in to the Wolves penalty area for maximum effect. Does, clips it in, and ooh, point comes. And as indicated by the referee, has got some sort of touch on it. The stats would show that Rochdale Rovers have had most of the possession, especially in their own attacking half. Comes off the first defender, but shot again, cleared, and finally Hopkins hoofs it out for another corner. Burn with the throw. Wolves. Been a stop start match, lots of niggly little fouls going on all the time. Referee McDonald busy in this first half. Taken quickly. Radulovic for Jeski, for Klulo. Looking for Vroom, finds Stefan Vroom. There's a handful of jersey on Hughes then, but Hughes strong. Cuts across. Play on, says referee McDonald. Smiths, the advantage with Rochdale. Great switch of play. Way. Steps inside. Again steps inside. Smiths for Lovell. Cuts it across. No one at the back post. And Romano makes sure and puts it out for a corner. And Byrne tracks back well. Aparicio looking for Lovell. Great touch, Cody Love, a great turn. And McMahon has already been booked. Could see himself in for a busy night 
and will have to watch those tackles for the rest of the game as the dangerous Cody Lovell is making good headway down this near side. Pike. Hopkins. Reardon. Jeski puts it forward. This is a little bit better from the walls. Romano. Inside. Aparicio, brave at the feet. Oh, off the line. And there's the there's one pull back. Stefan Vroom he has made it two goals to one for Wool to Rochdale Rovers here in the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final. Just when you say that Wolves look like they're out of it, they go and they do something like that. Their passing game was spot on. And the finish from the league's leading goal scorer, Stefan Vroom, as you would expect, clinical. Hughes goes long, looking for way. Oh, a clever flick there. Way looks to go around, well defended by Romano. Ruben Way comes back with the ball. Fouled, no play at all, and a kick out. Referee McDonald not interested. Free kick to the Wolves. I'd say he'll be looking for Smith, who's very, very good in the air. Goes to Way. Good touch, Ruben Way. Gets around his man. Cuts inside, and off the crossbar, Ruben Way! Lovell, the danger's not over yet! Puts it back into the box! And away by, by Hopkins! And cleared anywhere up the park. Hughes gets a touch on it. Plays it back inside. Way shoots! And it goes past a watchful Michael Pike and out for a goal kick. Long throw. Smiths with the nod on. Big early call from Pike and let run through by their skipper, Makula. Well, he's ballooned his clearance. Hughes for Way. Romano in close call. Cuts inside Ruben Way. Still going. Ooh. And a late challenge again. We'll see a free kick in a very dangerous position for Rochdale Rovers just outside of the penalty area. It's just Way. Unsworth over the ball, Ruben Way in close proximity, Byrne giving a wide option, Dumpy's sitting in the hole, Unsworth, Unsworth! Oh, great save by Pike to deny the Rochdale Rovers striker just before the half-time break. Rovers looking to put a third one in before the half-time break. Not at on and oh, Estathis just couldn't get a touch at the back post. Burn with a little bit of time. This time maybe with a bit more composure. Looking for Way. Romano. Way eventually gets it. Jeski for Romano. Back to Jeski. Beck. Ooh, late challenge there. And that could see. Yes, if Starthus has gone into the book, it's the first mistake he's made all day, and he's paid the ultimate price with a yellow card just before the half time break. One minute of added time, two minutes, sorry, of added time at the end of this first half. That could, of course, be extended a little bit with this injury right on the stroke of the half time break. Hughes in space, rolls it for Lovell. Good skills, oh, great ball. Unsworth cuts it across the face away by Hopkins Jeski looking for Vroom Vroom with a touch on gets it back Nostathus brings him down and he'll be put into the book right on the stroke of half time and that's his second yellow card and young Nostathus has been sent from the field with Nothing left on the clock. Watchdale Rovers will go to the break with 10 men and will play the rest of the match with 10 men. There'll be a reshuffle now, but there'll definitely be a reshuffle 
of the playing formation for Rochdale in the second half. Ball clipped to the back post. Hopkins is there and puts his... And it's taken a touch off a Rochdale defender and out for a corner. Radulovic with the corner. Swings it in. Hopkins is there and it was Beck. Got his head on it but couldn't direct it on goal. And that's the first half over which sees the scores. Rochdale Rovers 2. Wolves FC 1. And we're back for the second half here at Luxury Paint Stadium of the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final and the second half is underway. Jeski. Wide. Flicked on. Radulovic back inside. And the ball harmlessly rolls out for a goal kick. Long goal kick. Jeski, the good win. Beck. Radulovic gets a touch. Ridden straight into the hands of Aparicio. He needed to get that ball back across and into the box. Trying to pick if there's been any substitutions. Doesn't appear to be. Dumpies has come out of the midfield and gone to right fullback. And Byrne has slotted into his regular position at left fullback. Jeski's ball forward. Beck takes on Sato. Still going, Kres Beck. Ball into the box. And Vroom! Shot! And cleared well. Smith's back doing a defensive job. Clips it. Headed back across the box. Not cleared. Way. Tries to get the ball down. Keeps possession. Hughes steps inside. Great skills, Terry Hughes. Oh, looking for Smith's. And out for a right dull throw. Aparicio with the goal kick. Looking for Unsworth. Loses out. Romano puts his clearance in the air. Smits and Reardon. Reardon gets the better of Tim Smits. Tries to slide the ball through. And oh! A heavy challenge in the middle of the park. And Reardon picks up a yellow card. Perusio goes long. Jeski with the header. Way. Hughes for Dumpies. Goes around Romano. Jeski there cleans up. Beck and Unsworth. And a free kick. And a yellow card for Unsworth for repeat infringements. Unsworth being replaced. I think that's more out of fear of being sent off than for anything else. And being replaced by the versatile... Pat Cronin and a second substitution for Wolves FC. Square for his skipper. McCoola in space. Reardon for Vroom. Reardon gone late. Strong challenge from McCoola. Got all ball though. McMahon out. Ball into the box. Away by Byrne. Way. Clears it up the park. Jeski for McCoola, plonks it into the box, looking for Krez Beck. Beck couldn't get a touch, and out for a goal kick. Waits for his players to get out, goes long. Jeski, first touch, lets him down, Way, runs into Jeski, keeps going Ruben Way, clips it into the box, and away, Cronin. Away by Hopkins, Beck. Gives it straight to Terry Hughes. Dumpies. Way. Great ball, Ruben Way. Keenan Dumpies in space. Drives it across. McMahon with a crucial touch. Clulo will clean up the scraps. Burn with the throw. On by Lovell. Hopkins in strong. Smits and Jeski. Smits wins out. 
gets it across. Oh, an important touch by Romano with Way coming in at the far post. Dumpies. Too big. And out for a goal kick. And the third substitution for Wolves FC with Chris Beck leaving the field. And the youngster Kearns making his way onto the park. Goes long, flat, looking for Hopkins. Smiths does well. McMahon, back for McCooler. Not enough, width, not enough width from the Wolves players. And once again, a wasted ball forward. And a substitution for Rochdale Rovers with Mark Cruz replacing the hard-working Cody Lovell. Long throw. Smith's inside. Cronin, a little bit of space. Well played by McCooler. Turns defence into attack. Rolls it forward. Hands go up. Apparitio comes and clears with his feet. He's thrown it straight to John Thompson. He gives it straight to McCooler. Both sides guilty of giving away possession. Jeske forward for Kearns. Shoots and well blocked by Sato. Reardon does well. Wolves build it up on the outside. Offside flag's gone up. Free kick in a dangerous position. Lulo drives it in. Oh, past Patrick Hopkins and into the grateful hands of keeper Mario Aparicio and goals for Rochdale Rovers. Clulo back for Jeske. Still going Drew Jeske. Touch from Reard and Room across the box. Flag stays down. Reardon. Oh. I think he was after the ball, but he got no part of it, and it's a free kick and a card. Maparicio with the free kick. Not his best. Flicked on by Cruz. Hopkins wins the ball. Kearns thought for a second he could get to there. This time Aparicio gets onto his clearance. Well won by Romano. Jeske first time back for his keeper. Pike short for Hopkins. Plenty of space. Reardon back for Hopkins. Romano and plenty of space here on this near side. Goes direct. Thompson away. Way. Great ball for Smiths. Smiths in behind. Hopkins chasing. Shoots and scores! Tim Smiths gives Rochdale a 3-1 lead in the 80th minute to give Rochdale Rovers a 3-1 lead in the Vito Premier League Grand Final. Let's have a look. Smiths in his own half. Can't be offside. Great ball. Wolves pushing forward and punished for it. McMahon forward, Cairns, great pace, goes down, goal kicks the decision from referee McDonald, looking for options, goes wide, I want to get this into the box, Janoski, Alex Janoski and Sato with a spectacular header, Jeske, McMahon, Janoski to the far post. Hopkins with it across. And Aparicio. For a second, I thought that had floated over him. And once again, Claudio Romano. Good defending. Rolls it back for McCooler. He's given the ball away cheaply. Ruben Way slips over. McMahon forward. Kearns on the outside. Gets in and around his man, goes down.
free kick for Wolves. This could well be a card. Referee McDonald, yes, goes for his pocket. And Matt Byrne picks up a yellow card. Wolves will have to pull something out of the hat here with about five minutes to go. 3-1 down. Free kick. Dropped into the box. Well defended by Byrne. Janoski shoots. Desperate defending. Smith one-on-one -on -one as the Wolves race back. Cruz. Cruz and Romano. Cuts inside Mark Cruz. Shoots. Straight into the hands of Pike who releases early. Vroom has won a throw for his side. Hopkins back for Stefan Vroom. They needed a goal at any stage from the leading goal scorer. Now's the time. Kearns battles and wins the ball back. Clulo forward. Kearns with the shot. And once again, Terry Hughes with a desperate tackle. Wolves in a big, big hurry at this stage of the game. Driven in. Once again, Hughes gets a touch and clears it. Looking for Smits. Smits wins out. Ooh, nearly squeezed it through for Cruz. Makula. Clips it forward. Hopkins gets there ahead of Aparicio. And the flag's gone up. And it'll be a free kick to Rochdale in their own box with nothing left on the clock. Let's have a look. Clip forward. Hopkins has made his run just a touch early, according to the new technology. Good decision. He'll take his time. If they don't pressure him, he'll just stay there. Goes long, looking for Smiths. McCoola. Clulo. Great ball through from Blake Kearns. Cuts it across. Well defended. Hughes. Oh, straight off McCoola. And out for a goal kick. Substitution for Rochdale Rovers. Smiths being replaced by Greg Cheshire. Jeske in space. Rochdale retreated to the edge of their box. Sato with a great interception and keeps his run going. Cruz is free here on the near side. He's run for he's gonna run for the corner flag. McMahon over there trying to win the ball back. Redden comes and oh Nathan Redden has kicked him in the air. There's his second yellow. Hasn't bothered to see the red. He's left the field in the 94th minute. They'll go short and keep this in the corner for sure. Yes, they do. Out for a throw. There'll be absolutely no hurry from the Rochdale players here. Cruz. And that's the final whistle which sees the 2011 Vito Premier League Grand Final end, end up. Rochdale Rovers 3, Wolves FC 1. Sam, not the result obviously that you were looking for, but still from a neutral's point of view, a fantastic game of football and a good advertisement for the Vito Premier League and football in Brisbane. Yeah, well, uh, great uh, advert, obviously you don't want to lose in uh, any final. Uh, but. No, it's a great advert for football and you've got to say Rochdale and Wolves uh, have been miles and away the best two sides in Queensland, never mind uh, uh, Brisbane. They're miles above anything that's uh, around. And it was fitting that they both come into the final and uh, if you look over the season, we've played six times, they've won three, we've won three. So apart from us winning the league, there's nothing to choose between both of the sides. Uh, but today, as it has been for the last seven days, a bit of controversy where the linesman puts his flag up and the referee overrules him, but we'll have to wait and see uh, on the TV. And really, when you're two goals down against Rochdale, or either way, it's very difficult to come back and win. Terry, that was an impressive uh, end of season game. Uh, you've come out, I suppose, over the season, you're now one up on Wolves. There's been some titanic tussles throughout the season but tonight you were especially in the first half 
you were uh, irresistible in the football that you've played. Yeah, I, I don't think we were one up on them. They've def definitely been more convincing throughout the year. So um, today, today we, we got the edge on them. But um, over the season, we, we need to acknowledge that they got the premiership and were better for the, for the duration of the season. As for tonight, it's bloody good, you know. We, as I said in the speech, we were, we were fighting for second place, or the second prize here tonight, and um, we did all we could and got there in the end, played 45 with a man down, with the boys dug in, and it's really impressive, actually. There were some fantastic goals scored tonight. Normally, uh, grand finals can be dour affairs. Uh, yep. No one wants to lose. Yep. But tonight, both sides came out, especially yourselves, come out and look like going for it from the very first minute. Yeah, well, Wyndham themselves play attacking footy, and you know we like to get get teams on the break ourselves. So you know we both stuck to our game plans throughout the season. We weren't going to change that, and sort of made for a better spectacle, I think. And um, they must acknowledge also Smith's finish at the end. That was that was class on the break. Really sealed the game. You alluded to in the uh, presentation speech that there's been a lot said about uh, the replay tonight, and uh, but at the end of the day, it was a fantastic game of football, and no matter who played or didn't play, I'm going to use a cliche, football was the winner on the night. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. It was a fair bit said. I don't usually get, get stuck into that sort of stuff, but I think a lot of people put their two cents in, and uh, I got the medal around my neck tonight, so I'll take it home. If, you know, I'm not going to give it up. Mate, I'll let you go and celebrate with the boys. Yeah, we'll do a uh, bit of that. A bit of that. Uh, it's a Thursday <laughs> night. There could be some sorry heads at uh, work tomorrow. Cheers, guys. So, Vito, Premier League Grand Final winners for 2011, Roast Rovers. Yeah. So, thank you for your attendance tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A few months it'll all kick off. There you have 2011 Grand Final winners, Rochdale right Rovers. Well that's it. Season 2011 of the Vito Premier League has come to a close with the Grand Final going Rochdale Rovers way by three goals to one. On behalf of myself, Robert Blanche and Paul Van Dyke, the editor, cameraman and everything else which is good about FBTV, I'd like to thank you for tuning in this year and we'll be back next year. Bigger, brighter and dare I say, probably a little bit louder.